Hello guys and welcome to another interesting episode of Madrid My DNA, the home of everything Madridistas, as we discuss you through Real Madrid's latest and important update. Kickstarting with today's agenda, Real Madrid CEO Jose Angel Sanchez and Kylian Mbappe's mother, Faiza Lamari, are currently working on the final details of a contract report claim. We are going to be detailing you through that on this episode as we move forward. And shortly after that, we will quickly turn our attention to the next agenda as former Real Madrid coach Fabio Capello labels Carlo Ancelotti as the best coach possible for, for Kylian Mbappe as of now. Amid link of the Paris Saint-Germain superstar to Real Madrid in the summer. We are also going to be briefing you through that on this episode as we move forward. So please stay tuned right up to the end. Do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Turn on your notification bells so you do not miss on our next update. The negotiations between Real Madrid and Kylian Mbappe are set to be in the final stages and if reports from Marca is to be believed, club CEO Jose Angel Sanchez and the player's mother Faiza Lamari are currently leading the charge of the final details. While a lot has been said about Mbappe's summer move from Paris Saint-Germain to Real Madrid, there remain intricate details that are yet to be sorted out. As reported before, despite agreeing to move, the parties involved are currently working on the minute details of the contract, which include his image rights and possible participation in the Paris Olympics this year. The aforementioned outlet affirms that Mbappe has informed Real Madrid of his decision and the same message was passed on to the French team as well on Tuesday. As such, Mbappe did two important things recently. Firstly, he showed a sign of respect to Paris Saint-Germain by being transparent in communication and then he showed a sign of interest to join Real Madrid. This was appreciated by the people in Madrid who were waiting for such a move. It shows that both Mbappe and Real Madrid really want to make this happen. Now everything is coming together but there are still some details to work out in the final talks between the two sides. With Jose Angel Sanchez, Real Madrid CEO, and Faiza Lamari, Mbappe's mother, playing a key role in this. It is believed that Paris Saint-Germain have been waiting for Mbappe to make a decision because they always knew he would move to Real Madrid. Interestingly enough, he has promised Paris Saint-Germain not to leave them in financial trouble if they pay him his full contract, which is around 200 million euros per season. Now, in the negotiations, it is starting between Mbappe, Paris Saint-Germain and Real Madrid. The forward has already told Paris Saint-Germain he wants to leave and now he needs to agree on his contract with Real Madrid. After that, he will talk about he will talk again to Paris Saint-Germain to decide how he will leave without harming the club's financial system too. One option is for Mbappé to forgive a part of his salary which is good for Paris Saint-Germain because it helps with the taxes. So I haven't discussed and concluded with that, 
we are going to quickly turn our attention to the next agenda as Ancelotti is the best coach for Kylian Mbappe, claims former Real Madrid boss Fabio Capello. Former coach Fabio Capello said in a statement to La Gazeta del Sport that Ancelotti is the best coach for Mbappe. He endorsed it with the following words. He is a master. He has intelligence and charisma. Capello said that it is not a problem for the Italian coach to manage a lot of stars. He has coached a lot of superstars in the past. He added, the players immediately judged the coach. They understand immediately. If you have the qualities to lead a group with your personality, the coach did not stop there and had more praises in store for his compatriot. A coach is like a conductor. Carlo Ancelotti is more than that. He is a master. He also explained. He has intelligence and charisma and knows how to do it. More importantly, he knows how to put the best 11 and make everyone feel important. On the other hand, he compared his time at Real Madrid, the Galacticos, with current situation at the club. I coached half of the Galacticos because Zidane wasn't there. But Real Madrid, right now, are not making many mistakes with transfers. The players have an exceptional desire to win and incredible quality, the Italian manager concluded. So I haven't discussed and concluded with that, we have come to the end of today's interesting episode. Thanks for following us right up to the end. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel for we post Real Madrid content here daily and regularly as well. Follow us, turn on your notification bells so you constantly get notified in case we post an update about our favorite club Real Madrid. I appreciate you for being here. Big shout out to those who have been supporting us from the end. Big shout out to those who always like our content. It means a lot to us. Your support keeps us going. See you next time. And a very big Hala Madrid to us all.